So guys, you made it to LA with, with the boy Chad. What's up, boys? You know, I haven't been to LA since 2019. Now it's 2024. 2019. I thought I would never come back, honestly. You know, it's just, uh, I, I was gonna make a joke about the homelessness, but I couldn't figure out one, but. It is homeless. You know, it's a lot of homeless. It's yeah, a lot of smog. Taxes. It's a lot of taxes. It's a lot of uh, beautiful women. Tons. Yeah. LA is like the, what is it, uh, media capital of yeah. the United States. So you got your actresses, models, uh, OnlyFans girls, Instagram models. Yep. Like go on your explore page, to find the first bad girl you see. Could be LA. And it's going to say tagged Los Angeles, guarantee, or Miami. So um, I'm excited to experience LA in a, a different facet. Last time I've been, I was really like a tourist. Like I, I hiked the Hollow, Hollywood sign. I uh, saw the Walk of Fame, did one of those on and off tours, you know. Nice. But I've never experienced like a, I did experience the nightlife a little bit. So yeah, I bought that table on Sunset Boulevard for like much. for like five six k in twenty nineteen. Don't do it, boys. Don't yeah. do that. That's but, but I really just want to see how Chad's living. You know, he always comes to Orlando, but I, I told him I'm gonna make the trip out to LA, and I finally finally did it so yeah y'all see chad right now he got the fit on that was all right I, I, I did yeah i didn't want austin to mock me because like what if he pulled up fitted and i'm like in a hoodie and sweats i look bad so i had to make sure i came prepared for Bro, anything. i'm just wearing the dior jacket dior bomber you know something like i wasn't gonna wear my ball main t-shirt but i wanted to be comfortable Bro, when i saw you wear that ball main shirt my bro <laughs> austin must have gotten that gifted he did not <laughs> oh no wait the, the, the neiman marcus shoe right no no nah, no nah, but oh okay, okay i didn't get that through the neiman oh, shoe okay. but it the the crazy part is that was a gift. Yeah, I knew. No, I, I didn't buy no designer yeah, shit. Yeah, that shirt's like 400 bucks. I knew you would never buy that. Yeah, fuck no. I'm not buying Austin no. has like one thing of ever, like one nice belt, one bust down, like one designer, sh you know, designer shoes, like just one of everything. Yeah, I get one, one nice of everything, <laughs> one, one piece. I like nice stuff, but yeah. it doesn't consume me. It's the other aspects of you that, that make it, you know. Oh, for sure. I pop out in, in a white t-shirt and some jeans, and honestly. Kill the competition. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. But the thing about LA, though, is this traffic, bro. Yeah, we may be here for another, like, 30 minutes. Not even kidding. Just sl slowly crawling through this. And this is a Wednesday at noon. Imagine if it was, like, Friday, 5, 6 p.m. People are landing. It'd be even worse. So we're about to go get something to eat, but Chad wanted to show me his hinge profile and one thing about chad is he's different he stands out and um this voice note he has on his profile is different hold on let's listen <laughs> my name is chad but you can call me tonight let's fall in love and make a connection bro no way that works bro i swear girls go crazy if anything girls say to me like yo like I usually hate voice notes, but this one just does it for me. Or like, I listen to this three times. I send this to my friends. Like, leverage what works well for you. So if you have a deep voice, <laughs> use it. If you're a comedian, use it. If you're a bodybuilder, leverage the physique. Like, use what you have in your toolbox. But how does one know that they could leverage something like this? I would say, for example, I've been told my whole life, you're funny, you're outgoing, you're this, you're that. Yeah. And, or let's just say you've been told, you have a nice physique. Or hey, you're, you're, your voice is really deep. Like use- That's the, true. But what feedback the world has given you and use that and leverage that on your profile. Because most of you guys' photos are so average, you need something to stand out. Yeah, so, I call it your your points of leverage. Exactly. You know, you just double down on that. It could be your sex pill, physique, voice, as you said, your height, whatever's good to you. Now, what if they're cooked? They have no leverage. So if they're cooked, I would definitely say. Man, you just got to got to work on yourself, honestly. There, yeah, there's that. But also, I think most people, if you get a jaw, as in you at least get down to like 15% body fat, dress well, there's hope for you. I think there's hope for you. I say 12%, honestly. 15%, like you're still going to be a little blurry. If you get down to 12, that's where you start honestly looking like a different person slowly. And then 10 is like game, next level. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> even, even me, like I walk around at 12%, but if I can get to 10%, I got an extra, extra jawline. Yeah, I do too much, yeah, 10%. That shit might cut your eyes, honestly. There's gonna be more meat on this table than a P. Diddy party. Hey, yo. Oh, dude. <laughs> So uh, yeah, this is gonna be good. Lots of food. Gonna fill us up for the day. 
I know uh, we're trying to stay on our macros, so I brought us here just meat rice. You know, so that's all I had was a uh, steak and eggs this morning. Damn, bougie yeah. there, bro. Sometimes your thumbs are tired, you just don't feel like talking to these hoes. I get it. So I'm a voice note, this girl. All her prompts are just periods. See? Just legit periods. So peep gang. Ardalia, hear me out. Your prompts have no information. And that makes sense because you want to see me in person. I, it makes sense now. Like if you didn't have the prompts, like it wouldn't make sense, right? So I fucked up on that one. I, I, I was cooking and I was doing so good and I kept talking. I should have stopped. Argalia, hear me out, girl. Your prompts have no information, which makes perfect sense because that means you want to see me in person. Let me know when the schedule is free and hey, don't fall too much in love. Fuck. I should have taken that out. I should have taken that out. I was talking too much. But hey, I think that works. All right, send. Next bitch. So I'm doing a, a hinge video, me swiping up girls in LA. And I haven't been on Hinge in quite a quite a long time, so I just updated my pictures. I want I want you to go through my uh, profile chat and okay. let me know how it is. Okay, quick little audit. Yeah, how would you? All right, first photo. I'm feeling it um, because um, even though you're in the shade, it's still well lit. I like the uh, I like the the stare. The stare is good. No homo. And I like how the green matches with the green. A nice little like background, you know, showing everything. No, you're the background and the clothes you chose match okay taking an everything shower that's something up to um interpretation where it's not like i get it right away it takes some thought so if a girl's mm -hmm. low iq it may not work this next photo you know i like how it's a, like a one low effort photo you know because you went from like dslr nice, yeah yeah low effort not bad uh showing off some sex appeal with the tattoos this next one i thought some girls may get nervous because they go <laughs> okay he's like very in shape and a lot of these girls are like a biscuit away from being overweight so when they <laughs> see this they make it intimidated um you prefer bole over chipotle I need, I need to change that that's based in orlando yeah true yeah so la girl I mean, I get this, yeah. but it's all good. Next photo is great. I'm not going to say why I think you get it. I'm not going to talk bad. I'm, I'm just, if you know, you know, I'm not going to speak on anybody. Next photo. The only thing with this photo is it's like a, it's a curveball because it's like, wait, isn't your hair, is your hair long? Is it, is it yeah. short? Is it full? Yeah. So, I, but you know, what's crazy is that picture for the past the few best? years has always done the best. Okay. And I never got in question on high hair, low hair, Okay. Oh, you know, and this photo is, is, is cool, social proof. Yeah. People. I overall give an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, okay. Eight out of 10. We're, we're going to see the results. <laughs> we'll see. This is a straight up meat feast. <laughs> What's it? What is lamb chop? Lamb, lamb, yeah. Lamb, steak, rice, chicken. And they gave us more bread. <laughs> Ooh, that looks amazing, bro. Yeah, let's dig in. Holy shit. All right, guys, we made it to the hotel room. Now, one thing I love about this already is this view look at this guys so this is i assume the hollywood hills of some sort maybe not but it looks fancy and it's on some hills i'm staying right now in hollywood which this is my first time staying in hollywood let me give you guys a quick room tour well it's nothing crazy honestly the bag right there little bathroom you know king size bed bam bam boom set up all my equipment and stuff right here let me show you some stuff i got guys that you probably haven't seen but i got these smart glasses and these are the the meta ray bands so they can actually record you've probably seen those like code approaching videos you know they're using these this is how they do it the hidden cam and we got the camera right here because we're about to record the Hinge in LA video swiping on Hinge. So once again, it, that should already be posted. Um, so definitely check that one out if you guys haven't already. But yeah, really love this area. It's only the first day. I'm here from Thursday to Monday. I'm just excited to see what's gonna happen, all right? I'm gonna document everything and take you guys alongside with me. So let's go. All right, we are on Rodeo Drive, home of the designer stores the bougie area of la and we're gonna go in creed right now i've always wanted to smell the uh the new creed events because it's like a black bottle it's like absolute you're gonna have to come back in october oh is it all out already what no samples not yet uh oh, so oh so it's, not, so it's not out yet okay so it came out last year okay and it sold out fair enough and then everyone wanted it so bad that they had to bring it 
So wow. there's a little bit that's gonna come back in October. Okay. Do you wanna put your info down so I can send you some samples so we can do that? So this is the new one? Yeah. This one's still thinnest. This smells like legit, like a fruit snack. Like I smell like a fruit, I, I smell edible. I smell scrumptious. That sounds delicious. Yeah. And what is this one called? Centaurus. Yeah, a little more fruit. Yeah. So it's a little more wild. So in the heart of this one, there's a gunpowder now. Gunpowder? Y'all using weapons. It's an eight <laughs> pregnancy. No, but it also has like ginger and tonka beans, so it's pretty bad. Okay. Right? It's it's good, but I think that mountain water still has you by, by, by the... Chokehold? Chokehold, so that word, yeah. This almost feels like um, Irish tree. Okay. Almost. I, 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 I can get that. I can, I can yeah, see somewhere. somewhere. Hey, Chad gave her the number. Oh, I had to. Come on now, dude. She was being so flirty. I had to say something. Y'all think she was choosing or was she just doing her job? No, listen. She's like, <laughs> oh, you look so Hollywood. Like, what? Like, you look so this. Like, She was being a little, yeah. little flirty. Yeah. The Louis store. So what's the first one you bought though? The first one I bought yeah. was Nobel Monk. It's uh, oud chocolate. It's really nice. Give it a shot, but it smells really good. Yes. That's the one you have at your place? I don't have this one anymore. I have, I have the bottle. You can get refills. Okay. Um, but the one I have in my house is Ombre Nomad. Gotcha. Oh, this right here. I'm tripping. Ombre Nomad. Ombre Nomad, yeah. This one's worth like $410, but man, you hug any bitch, she go roll. Again, it's this Yeah, this is... Uh, very blue. Yeah. <laughs> Smells very blue. It's very blue. Yeah. All right, we're going in Air One. 20 bucks sale, 22 bucks. This shit's in a glass bottle, though. <laughs> What's the fuck? This looks like a liquor pitcher. Yeah. This, this water better can bring you back to life. We're going to try out the Zen water, Aquiline water, bougie ass water. Then we're going to try out this Ali Bieber strawberry glazed skin smoothie with all these ingredients in it. Might have to pause to read that. Yeah, it looks good, honestly. Add protein and even better. All right, so first impressions of the Haley's smoothie. It tastes like a strawberry cheesecake. It does. It's, it's pretty good, honestly. Yeah, solid. And you got sold on $5 or $6 water. Yeah. <laughs> Shit was good as hell, too. Nice and pure water. And they got the um, the ASRB store right there. Modeled for them back, what, a year and a half ago. Really quality clothing. All right, Chad, first night out. So where are we at? So we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna hit Tao, Hollywood. It's a pretty popping spot. So a place called Tao. I've seen a Tao in Vegas, but I've never been to the one in LA. It's like a dinner slash social yeah. bar area. Yeah. We decided to go with a streetwear vibe tonight. Changing it up. <laughs> Changing yeah. it up. Chad with the oh, the Casanova look. Black oh. on black. Yeah, you, you stay with no. the Chuck though, no lie. First time in a Lambo. Oh. oh, it is kind of low. All right, you want to go to your hotel? It would be dope if we go, go to my hotel, actually. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I remember seeing your shit on YouTube like back in like early, like 2017, like a familiar face, bro. Yeah, that's what a lot of people like, say. It, it was like, like fitness during, content. Like, Brandon, Brandon Carter was coming up. And yeah, yeah, that's my homie Brandon. Yeah. Oh, he's he's a savage, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No guys, I might have to get the Huracan. Interior's dope, fast. I'm not gonna lie, I still miss my C8 though. 2020 C8. Kinda reminds me of the vibe because when you're driving this, people are looking, busting the, you know, breaking their necks. But um, who knows? I've always told myself if I do get a Lambo, or the past few years I told myself I'll probably get a yours, but we'll see. All right, guys, it's the next day. Last night was pretty cool. We went out to this bar club sort of vibe. Definitely more of a, a younger vibe. A lot of people are in their, their early 20s. And me being 28, almost 30, I don't even go out like that much anymore. Maybe like once every three months, if that. And so that environment really just doesn't appeal to me like it used to. But when I do travel, 
I will make time to check out the nightlife of wherever I'm at. And obviously with me visiting Chad, it's gonna be a part of the trip, right? Now, one, one thing I did tell Chad though, in terms of the, the girls specifically, is that I realized they weren't choosing too heavy. I'm not sure if it's LA girls or what, but you know, not to sound too prideful or high ego, but you know, girls are usually choosing, they look around, you make eye contact, this or that, but in that specific club, it seems like everybody was just really like tunnel vision, just focus on the group of friends. Maybe because it was dark too, like being in loud and dark environments probably doesn't help with that. That's why I prefer like more social bar environments with like light music and not completely dark like that was more like a rager vibe unless you go outside to the patio and that's maybe where you can like have a conversation but besides that you know everybody including the girls were just kind of like focused and really to themselves i have gone out in the past in la more specifically the place was called one oak and also bungalow and so we're gonna hit a new place every single night i'm gonna give my take on it overall and also keep in mind in terms of me and chad chad is more of a I'm gonna go after what I want, let's approach this set, let's just talk, even if it goes nowhere. Versus me, I've always been a little bit more strategic. If it's not getting me the best results in terms of what I want, I'm not necessarily gonna focus on it. I kinda approach, you know, the in real life game, kinda like my online game, where I position myself to be the most attractive version of myself, position myself in the right places, and let the girls choose me. Or, you know, if I'm catching this sort of vibe, then maybe I'll approach her, or if she's really attractive, of course, yeah, sure, I'll approach her, but chat he's like a he's like a hawk right and that goes in line with you know the different dating strategies that some guys have and each person is going to be different and if you guys are on the patreon we're actually going to outline the pros and cons of my dating strategy versus chad's dating strategy kind of outlaying just the benefits the the negative things that you're going to experience with both so if you're not on the patreon definitely be sure to check that out now guys i kid you not i've gotten three hours of sleep i am super jet lag the time frame from orlando florida to la is uh three hours ahead so we went to bed at 3 a.m i woke up at 6 a.m that's probably why you hear it in my voice but let me show you guys kind of the the stuff I brought, you know, we, you know, already got the T's on deck. Had to bring that minoxidil for the hairline, you know, we gotta keep that shit in check for real. We got um this tool, this is how I style my hair, guys. You guys know I'm growing out my hair. So I will make a tut uh, tutorial in terms of what I'm doing here soon with that. And uh, this is just a styling product, this is just gel. Uh, Chad gave me this actually because I, I forgot mine. But um, one thing too, I only brought one pair of shoes, these white Air Forces, and these shits is mad dirty already. So what I'm gonna do now is clean them. Do I have shoe cleaner? No, I do not. So we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way, the ghetto way as some people call it. We're just gonna use water and a little bit of soap. But when you do travel guys like, for me, I'm max packing two pairs of shoes, max. But this trip, I had to I had to travel a light. So the high top white Air Force One, it literally matches everything. So you can't go wrong with it. So we got some soap, some hot water, and we're just gonna scrub this dirt off. Cause you know, when you be in clubs and shit, you will be stepping all over your shoes and spilling drinks. That's also why I never understood the idea of wearing like nice shoes to clubs. Like, bro, you just bought some Jordans or some uh, McQueens, even like designer shoes. Like, why are you stepping in a dark ass nightclub where people are just gonna mess up your shoes? Beats me, I'm not doing that shit. So I don't care, I'll mess up these, I'll just buy some more. And as we see, like, it's already getting cleaner just with a little wipe off, it's not bad. So let's go ahead and get into the day. Let's see where it brings us. You know, we gotta hit the gym, so let's go. So this is what we bought in the fridge from the store. We got the coconut water. Guys, I'm telling you, this is a cheat code. Magnesium, electrolytes, potassium, which is good for getting rid of water retention. So if you guys check out my Instagram story, you probably see that I drink a lot of coconut water. Usually I buy like a big thing of these and I try to drink one a day, especially if I'm trying to lose like a lot of water weight. And then you guys already know, I gotta hit my protein goals. So, you know, when you're traveling, yeah, sometimes you gotta use these quick ones and I get the 42 grams. I try to drink at least two of these in the day. So as of now, this is gonna be the pre-workout and then we're gonna have breakfast afterwards. It's 
say so far this LA trip hasn't cost me that much money so far. Dinner, din dinner got paid for last night. Oh, yeah, it hasn't, not yet at least. Yeah. So you say they have the best protein smoothies? This place has the best protein smoothie. Put that on everything. Most protein smoothies, they taste like a protein smoothie. This one, it tastes like you're drinking like just heaven in a bottle. Which one should we get then? Yeah, so this is the blueberry acai for $9.99. And it's a good price point. Most gyms want 12, 13 or more. Okay. And uh, we also just say about it. And it's freaking delicious. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a big menu. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, tourists are out today. Yeah. Looking good. All right, trying the second smoothie. Since yesterday was, was the Holly Bieber. And this <laughs> one's the Body Energy Club. That shit's solid, bro. Yeah. Very. I, it's not a protein shake, bro. It is this just. Yeah, but it has protein in it. Yes. Vegan protein. Vegan protein. Okay, interesting. Burn our health tip. He's really clean. It's good. Probably like 25 grams, you think? Yeah, 25 to 30. It's a whole thing outdoor mall? Yeah, whole thing outdoors, man. Oh, nice. Okay. You guys know what's the AD travel vlog without going to Zara. <laughs> like, literally, I think every vlog I've ever done, I've been to Zara. And every Zara has something different, too. I one similar, but not with like the brown. I have this in black. Yeah, the is nice. The non um, button turn style. Yes, I agree. The polo. I went in black. I, mean, I basically have this at home. Basically. So basically, basically got everything. Damn near so far. <laughs> everything I've liked, I have a variation of it. Oh, the house. Yeah. Nice. Smart streetwear stuff. Yeah. Some some peacocks and burnt orange. Yes, that sound looks crazy. <laughs> I don't know what or even this shit, honestly. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. With your uh, hoodie with the neck sleeves. I used to wear a lot of shit like this, actually. Like sleeveless hoodies. So you wore a sleeveless denim jacket. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's so, like, that's a peacock move for sure. Mm -hmm. I have the picture on my phone where we did the photo shoot with Oh, yeah, the black one. Yeah. What the hell is this? That's the difference. This I really don't got a yeah, whole the lot. Why are we this, though? So. Yeah. Fit check. Night two. Where are we at, Chad? We are at Isabel. It's like an American diner. Good vibes. Lots of hot girls. Always we wine here, honestly. Yeah. Plus the food. The vibe here, guys. Well, um, we're waiting to get our table right now. But take a look at the environment. Very, very it's posh. Yeah, posh. Very, very dope. I very classy. Very. North? Demir, there we go. Yeah, we're actually not hungry still, kind of full from the steak dinner. We'll see what's up, see the menu, check it out. Afterwards, we're gonna go to, what, Venice ben tonight? Venice Beach. Venice Beach tonight, check that out, let's see how it is. Very good. Let's see. All right, guys, we are ending the night off in good old Venice. That's a legendary sign right there. I haven't been here in so long, and I've never seen it in nightlife like this, but it's pretty lively, like a lot of people out. We're gonna go to the bar right down there. Now, Venice, if you guys don't know, it's the part of LA kinda by the water, beachy, a lot of marijuana here too. I mean, it's legal in LA. I feel the breeze a little bit from the ocean. I think we might be close by it. But there's a lot of people out here. It's currently uh, Saturday night, and I'll show you guys what it's like. Hopefully we'll have a good time, we'll see. This line is freaking insane. But yeah, we're trying to go in. Bell's Beach Club, the line is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait on Chad. He's gonna go park the car right now and let him know. I don't even wanna wait in that line, honestly. That's like over an hour, it looks like. I'm not sure about you guys, but one thing about me is that I feel so below average just waiting in line. It's just a bad feeling. I can't do it. At least not a line like that. So we're gonna have to find something else. I mean, there's a lot around here, so we'll see. We'll see. Let's walk around and see what else they got. These lines aren't too bad at all. So maybe we'll do something over here. So update guys, I've been messing up. Yesterday, I couldn't get into one of the places because I was wearing shorts. And then today, you guys can't see, but got no sleeves on. They didn't let me in. And we have no change of shirts. So now on our way to a place called Bungalow, I have a feeling it's gonna be the same exact thing. Should know better, man. This is what I get for trying to dress all street wear and shit. Should have just kept to my normal, fitted to casual wear. We wouldn't have had this problem. Oh well, we'll see. Chaz closing the trunk. Oh, oh, they, oh! This, dude, this, some, this some. is actually a fit. Like, this is actually like a, a cool shirt. It's Kendrick Lamar, but it's been wrinkled to shit. But this could actually work as an actual. Yeah, shirt. I'm just wearing black jeans, so it's like kind of. So this is an option, all right. Kendrick Lamar. Uh, 
hundreds T. Are these clothes you're gonna give, give away? away? That's never did. I think that Kendrick Lamar T is probably your Will best. Will be best, yeah. Yeah. You know, I feel weird about wearing another man's face on my body. I guess it's just for to, to get in. I know, just just for tonight. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. All right, to bungalow we go. Who do you think I look like? Austin Dunham. Looks <laughs> just like him. Yeah. What 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 about us looking like though? <laughs> Your face. This <laughs> <laughs> looks just like me. I, I I see it. I see it. I see it. Yo, I think I do kind of look like Austin. Yeah. He looks like a little bit. Yeah. Look him up, bro. Look him up. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Yeah. I never heard anyone say that before. You're the first one. You lied. But I, I think. It's, he usually gets Bryson Taylor the most and Russell Wilson. Yeah. They get off him right here. Like, so nah, I live in Florida. Yeah, Austin, Austin does do. Yeah. <laughs>